Hi, this is Paul Rudwick. Today I'm going to tell you about the four different types of lines you can use in AutoCAD Civil 3D. Now, as you might guess, the first type of line is just a regular line. To draw a regular line in AutoCAD Civil 3D, you literally just type L and hit enter. Now, right now I have my ortho snap turned on, so I can do that by hitting F8 and it makes this perpendicular. I'm hitting spacebar here to do the same command over and over again. Now I'm going to move this. I'm snapping to the midpoint here. Now the regular type of line is pretty limited. To be honest, I really don't ever use this type of line. Say I want to draw an L. Just like this and this. You'd think that this would draw this into one continuous line, but it actually draws it into two separate lines. Now this tells us something about the line. Lines can have turns. A line is always limited by two different vertices. They can be at different elevations. Now, what if I wanted to draw a line with multiple vertices? To do that, I can draw a polyline. To draw a polyline, I type PL. Now I can actually draw this. I'm hitting F8 again here. Draw like this. I'm going to snap it to here. I can even, with my polyline, I can even add an arc here. And the way I'm doing this, I'm hovering over this. If I hit an S, if I hit an S, I'll stretch it. If I hit an A, I'll add a vertex. Or if I hit a C, I'll convert to an arc. The arc and the line now are combined together within the polyline. Polylines are the bread and butter, in my opinion, in AutoCAD of lines. I use polylines 99% of the time. One really cool feature of polylines is that you can determine areas really quickly. Now this actually is giving me an area, but the reason it's doing that is because it has an imaginary closed line between here. So if I just close that line, it now extended my length, but it also closed that polyline. I use this all the time to figure out what are areas that I'm trying to use for stormwater design. A third type that I want to talk about is a 3D polyline. Now, one of the limiting factors of a polyline is that all of the elevations on all of these vertices have to be the same. Now, if I want to have polyline type features, if I want the vertices to be on different elevations, then I need to draw a 3D polyline. Now, there's two different ways I can do this. I can just type 3D polyline, 3D poly. I'm going to do this. I'm going to first change my color here. And as you can see, each of these vertices I can set at a different elevation. I can set this one at 4, I can set this one at 2, and vice versa. Another way I can do this, which I think is pretty cool, just draw a regular polyline, type PL, and hit F8 here. I'm going to hit C to close the line. I'm going to right here, hover, hit C, hover, and hit C. Now, what I do to turn this into a 3D polyline is I go up to here to modify, design, convert 2D to 3D polylines. Now, there is a command you can type, but it's a bit of a handful to remember how to do that. And now, you can see it's given me a ton of different vertices because I had it on an arc. So I could set all these at different vertices if I wanted to. Now, the fourth type of line that I'm going to talk to you today is called a feature line. Now, a feature line is an incredibly power, powerful line in AutoCAD Civil 3D. Feature lines can be used with all the Civil 3D objects, and you're often adding them to profiles. Say, for example, I had a line I wanted to add into a profile or a profile view. I could add it as a feature line. Or I can use feature lines um, within grading. Feature lines have their issues, however. Currently, feature lines are a bit cumbersome to draw. So I typically draw them in as a polyline. And how you turn it into a feature line, go up to the feature line, create feature lines from objects. I'm going to hit OK. And now I have a feature line. Now, one really cool thing is that about these four different lines, each of them is sort of within a hierarchy, with line being the lowest and feature line being the highest. Now, for example, say I wanted this to be turned into two different lines. To do that, I could just hit explode, type X. And now I have a line and a line. 
Or for say, for example, I wanted this line and this line to be connected. I could turn them into a polyline. There's two different ways to do that. The first one is to highlight both, type P edit, P E, and select mode line, hit M. So I'm gonna highlight both of them. Convert lines to polylines, yes. Enter option, I'm gonna join them, hit J. Join type hit zero, because they're next to each other. And, and now I have a polyline. The other way to do it, and the better way to do it, so literally just highlight them and hit J for join. Now it just turns it into a polyline and it joins them together. Similarly, you can click on a feature line and explode it. Now currently, my feature line does not have any elevations in it. So when I explode it, it just turns it into a polyline because all the elevations are on the same level. However, the feature line is smart enough. I hit Control Z, so now it's a feature line again. If I did put some elevations on here by right clicking, go into Elevation Editor, one, two, three. And now, when I hit X for explode, it's going to turn into a 3D polyline because the different vertices have different elevations. One, two, three. I hope you learned something about lines today.